What's going on guys and welcome to episode number 274 of career mode and I uh, just want to say if you would like a double upload day today then um, just stick like I don't know what, what should we say just like 175 likes I mean that's that's barely anything I mean of course we used to ask for more than that but um, now if you 13 is coming to the end we don't really have the uh, capacity but um, yeah just stick 175 likes on this and I'll upload an episode of career mode later tonight as well as this one and uh, anyway regardless we do take on uh, Barcelona B for uh, the first game in what could be two episodes today and uh, yeah Mayor Al scores this absolute weldy in the 34th minute what an absolute finish it was Barcelona B tried to play out the back completely gave it away one touch by Mayor Al sets up for a half volley and just Blasted into the top corner. What a great finish. 1 0 to Atletico Madrid and a fantastic start for us. But in the 69th minute, uh, Barca B had a free kick here and uh, it swung in here. Uh, Gazaniga passed the ball away, but we couldn't seem to get the ball away. Terrible defending, really. And uh, eventually the ball came through to. Uh, I can't pronounce this guy's name. I just. I cannot pronounce him. It's like. Uh, it's. It's not Delafue, but that's how I've always said it. But um, anyway, in the 70th minute, Barca B managed to get themselves an equalising goal. And uh, they were sitting bottom of the table. So I was really, really disheartened the fact that we were going to be ended up drawing this game after the trouser man's shot was brilliantly saved by the goalkeeper. And uh, that is how the game finished. The draw against bottom of the table Barca B, uh, a, sec uh, 20, uh, yeah, a 20th versus first game. And, uh, you know, bottom versus top. And uh, we, we drew it. I mean... Really disappointing to be honest. I know we had a few players rested, but um, even so, we should have won that game with ease. I know some of the players were tired as well after beating Liverpool in the uh, the week, but um, even so, that should have been a win. And uh, I was really disappointed to only get away with a draw there. But uh, regardless, we took on Granada in the following game, and I uh, was just making sure that we were making amends in this one here. And uh, Martin Costa down the right hand side. This guy keeps on featuring for us, puts in a great cross. Look at that, perfectly weighted. But uh, unfortunately, him and his spoon is uh, header and put the ball over the bar. So still one. Uh, sorry, still nil nil. Here. Here. But uh, in the 59th minute, Jimenez Ortiz plays a wonderful ball through to uh, Timo Kapovi. Lovely touch and agility to get around his man. Goes one-on-one, uh, -on -one, tries to round the goalkeeper. Doesn't do a very good job, but he does manage to finish the ball uh, first time as he smashes the ball in with his left foot to make it 1-0 to us. Uh, good finish after, you know, getting quite lucky, I'd say, after the uh, the attempt around the goalkeeper was poor. But uh, eventually it does finish at 1-0 here. The referee blows for full time. And uh, just like in the last episode, um, it, it is, it's cut scenes and it's like, Oh God! It's just, just wait, please, just wait until we have a chance to win the title. I mean, it's just you know. We, I mean, obviously in the last episode we must have qualified for the Europa League. Now we've qualified for the Champions League, and the players are celebrating like you know that the season is over. It's like it's it's not. You know, we've we've got to win the league. That's the most important thing, and you're celebrating like the job's done. It's it's kind of disheartening, really, because it, it's like guaranteed we're going to qualify for Europe anyway. So. The fact they're celebrating that guarantee is just disheartening, but um, I don't know, maybe I'm complaining for some reason, and um, I don't know. But um, anyway, we'll take on Real Madrid for the following game in the uh, the Madrid derby, and uh, Madrid had to win this game, as you'll see by the league table here. Madrid had to win this game, really. They were sitting behind us by nine points with just six games to go, so if they fail to win this game... To be honest, I may as well just call the season over and we'd surely be picking up the Liga uh, once again here. So they had to win this game. And uh, not much action happened until the 40th minute here where we came through and played out the back. And uh, Marcano cuts uh, cuts around Dico here. Finds Balu Campeni. He finds Lorenzo Poke. Nice build up here. Poke finds Balu Campeni. Gets a bit lucky. The ball comes back to him. And what about this for a chip by Poke? Just lately, I've been able to chip the goalkeeper a lot better. And that's very nice. And uh, it's a really good chip over the goalkeeper by Poke as the ball nestles underneath the crossbar and makes it 1-0 to us in the 40th minute. So 1-0 here, uh, Real Madrid 0, Fletcher Madrid 1. And in the 55th minute, Marcano plays a wonderful ball through to De Rocha Fonte. The Portuguese winger goes down the right hand, uh, sorry, down the centre and just rolls the ball past the goalkeeper. 56 minutes played, Real Madrid 0, Fletcher Madrid 2. And uh, got to feel sorry for Real Madrid. It looks as though their season was over right here. But uh, he sees Chevalier get dispossessed by Sutil Torado. He's trying his hardest to get back, but he just can't. Trousman picks the ball up, finds Mayer out down on the left hand side here, Mayoral comes through, uh, nice dribbling by him, plays the ball into Trouser Man, crosses towards the far post, there's Marcano, his shot saved, he brings out the pe uh, fake Rabona and the scoop turn, and uh, it was a bit of a debatable decision there, I, I didn't think it was a penalty because he stayed on his feet, looked as though he may as, uh, may as well have been able to get the shot away, but uh, the referee gives a penalty regardless, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's contact, but um, I don't know, he stayed on his feet, it was the slightest of touches, and uh, 
I don't know, maybe not a penalty, but uh, it was given anyway, and uh, Marcano scores as he smashes the ball down the middle from the spot, 3-0, and uh, poor old Real Madrid, ever since we've came into Atletico Madrid, they've just been terrible, and uh, that made it 3-0, but um, for some reason I brought out uh, Ure here for no reason whatsoever, and Chevalier made a made mincemeat out of me, and uh, that made it 3-1, so a chance for Real Madrid possibly, but um, even so, we were defending fantastically, look at this, Chevalier just got completely dicked on by our defence, and uh, the game finished 3-1. So I was disappointed to let in a late goal, um, especially because I brought Uray out for no fucking reason. But um, even so, 3-1 uh, was the final score, and that is fantastic news for us. But um, anyway, we take on uh, Marseille in the following game here in the Champions League semi-finals. And uh, of course, I did say in the last episode that I'd be Real Madrid, Sunderland or Marseille. So Real Madrid will be taking on Sunderland as we take on Marseille here. We've probably got the easiest of the uh, the three teams, uh, sorry, the four teams in this. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, we take on Marseille here in France. And in the 22nd minute, Valdez Diaz comes through here, fizzes the ball to the far post, and that's probably the lowest bicycle kick you'll ever see by De Rocha Fonte. He just seems to wrap his... Uh, feet around the defender and managed to put the ball into the back of the net so De Rocha Fonte with the goal in the 22nd minute and it's Marseille nil. Atletico Madrid won in the 32nd minute El Qatari here um, well I was just really disappointed because I mean it was my fault with a lunge first of all but the second of all I thought maybe it was a good challenge and then the referee gives a straight red card now I know why it was given as a penalty guys I'm not you know I'm not just joking I know it was probably a penalty because of the way he came through at an angle and uh, seemed to take the man before he took the ball but uh, is it a red card? I mean, I'm not entirely sure. It was, again, a very debatable decision. But uh, penalty to Marseille. Keto steps up and hits the post. Really bad penalty. What a chance that was. So uh, in the quarterfinals, Liverpool missed a penalty. In the semi-finals, Marseille missed a penalty. Just missed penalties all round. And uh, yeah, Marseille missed a good chance here. And uh, yeah, how about this though? Leon Brito, how dirty was this? I mean, Ayu was going for the ball down the left-hand side here. And he just backs into him. He's like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm looking at the ball, ref. I'm looking at the ball. Just a simple coming together there. There was no foul involved. I wasn't trying to take him down. And that was surely a penalty. If the El Qatari one wasn't a penalty, that was a penalty. He just backed into him, he knew exactly what he was doing and uh, the referee said no clean, nothing on, nothing wrong there and Marseille were furious, they should have had a second penalty but uh, anyway the game finished 1-0 uh, and like I said Leon Brito gets away with that blatant blatant foul and uh, yeah the game does finish 1-0 so we again have the advantage going into the second leg and that is fantastic news for us um, we do have El Qatari missing for the game though, that will be a bit of a shame because he's a giant centre back, he's awesome and um, that will be a bit of a shame but uh, regardless as such, we take on Espanyol in this game, and uh, in this game as well, I wasn't sure, but I thought there was a chance we could possibly win La Liga with a win in this game, uh, depending on other results, but um, even so, I wanted to win it regardless, but uh, rested pretty much all of the players because uh, we'd have the Champions League semi-final second leg in midweek, but unfortunately, uh, Noza gets Espanyol after a good start there, after uh, his header was deflected and put in by Bangora, who was having an absolute mare, gives the ball away here, Noza picks the ball up here, finds Golabart, plays the ball into uh, Sebalos here, plays the ball out wide, here's Mubarak Wakaso, not Matthew Wakaso, Mubarak Wakaso comes through and finesses the ball past Gaza to make it 2-0 to Espanyol, so a really, really, really bad start in this game, we're all over the place and look at this for passing though, absolutely fantastic by Espanyol, they come through here, try to back off the uh, man coming through but it comes to Noza who smashes the ball in for his second goal of the game, half time, 45 minutes played, Espanyol Espanyol 3, Atletico Madrid 0, and in the 64th minute, Sebalos comes through, rifles it in to make it 4-0, and we were saved by the offside flag, that's how bad we were playing, we had to be saved complete humiliation by the offside flag, it was ridiculous, but um, regardless of such, 3-0 to uh, Espanyol, and in the 68th minute, I was just determined to make sure we get a goal back here, Valdez Diaz comes through down the centre, rolls it through to Jimenez, nice finesse round the goalkeeper to make it 3-1, chance to get back in the game with uh, 20 minutes to play here as Jimenez puts the ball past the keeper. Surely we can't come back. Unfortunately, we couldn't. The game finishes 3-1 to Espanyol. A humiliating, uh, yeah, a humiliating defeat. Only our second this season in La Liga. But uh, even so, what an awful, awful game. Really did play terribly and uh, Espanyol go through. Uh, sorry, Espanyol pick up the three points and uh, a really embarrassing win. And of course, that did kill our morale coming into this game for the second leg against Marseille here at the Vicente Calderon with the Champions League final place at stake but uh, anyway in the 8th minute Leon Brito picks the ball up here 
Paul goes out for a throw in and Marseille were ball watching as De Rocha Fonte played a quick throw into Balu Campeni who crosses the ball in. There's Trousman with a really weird finish but um, even so he managed to put the ball into the back of the net. Really weird finish he adjusted his body there but um, yeah Marseille ball watching they weren't concentrating and uh, we took advantage of that as we made uh, a one goal lead here with just nine minutes on the clock to give us a two goal lead on aggregate. But uh, straight from kickoff here, Marseille come through. Leon Brito makes a great challenge. Finds Balu Campeni, uh, finds Trouser Man. He plays the ball out wide to De Rocha Fonte here. And he just rolls the ball across to Marcano. He gets very, very lucky. The finish is poor. The goalkeeper almost uh, made a fantastic save. But uh, the ball does sneak across the line. And it was a bit of a sweat goal, to be honest. I didn't really need to do it. But uh, to be honest, I wasn't playing well. I wasn't feeling it. After that humiliating loss to Espanyol, just wanted to make sure we would get uh, a two-goal lead in this game. But uh, just a few minutes later, uh, Marseille managed to get themselves back in a time. Voto with the goal started to bring out Uray then brought him back in because I didn't think he'd have the pace um, and of course I learnt my lesson from the game against Real Madrid but uh, even so, what a finish by uh, Voto to make it 2-1 here and 3-1 on aggregate. But in the 25th minute, Trousman comes through here, nice dribbling and uh, I thought this was a penalty I thought he got completely body checked by the Marseille uh, defender but uh, the referee said no, I, I thought it was a penalty but the referee said no, so uh, still 2-1 uh, here but but uh, here comes uh, Lorenzo Poke, gives the ball away. It comes to Keto here, uh, runs through the middle, plays the ball out wide to Umrani. Lovely one touch and then chips the ball over your race. So, complete disappointment. I was furious. I was laying into the fourth official on the touchline. I was saying, how is that not a penalty? How is that not a penalty? Because from one minute to the next, Marseille, who could have had a penalty given against them and could have been completely taken out of the tie, got themselves back in the tie as they went up the pitch and uh, scored a good goal there to equalise on the game. So, 2-2 uh, two -two here. But... Uh, uh, thankfully for us, in the 49th minute, De Rocha Fonte silences any chance of Marseille coming back into the game. Really good chest and finish, and that uh, gives the score 3-2 and 4-2 on aggregate. We go through to the Champions League final, and you'll see in the next episode who we'll face. And of course, if you get 175 lef um, likes on this episode, you will see the next episode later on tonight. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you later on tonight for another episode.